When he announced he was lifting the statewide mask mandate, Governor Abbott touted improved COVID-19 hospitalizations and vaccination advancements. But KXAN's Wes Rappaport learned he did not consult all of his medical advisors before making the decision. It is clear from the recoveries, from the vaccinations, from the reduced hospitalizations, and from the safe practices that Texans are using, that state mandates are no longer needed. In his plan to rescind pandemic policies, Governor Greg Abbott consulted with his special advisor, Dr. John Zerwas, a lawmaker turned University of Texas system administrator who he's called on for input throughout the pandemic. In my conversations with the governor, I said, I don't think it's a mandate from the state that is, uh, you know, keeping people wearing masks and keeping people away from each other and keeping people washing their hands. But as for the other three chief medical advisors on the governor's strike force to open Texas, Dr. Parker Hudson with Dell Medical School at UT Austin said he was not involved in this decision. Dr. Mark McClellan, an infectious disease expert at Duke, said it's not the right time to lift restrictions. Noting the progress, he said it's too soon for full reopening and to stop masking up. And the Texas Department of State Health Services Commissioner, Dr. John Hellerstadt testified to lawmakers he spoke with Abbott's team prior to the announcement but did not speak with the governor directly. Both the governor and I are on the same page. Hellerstadt still encourages mask wearing and emphasized the personal hygiene practices as the best way to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. HEB said it would encourage but not require customers to wear masks when the statewide mandate is lifted next week. Whole Foods tells us customers who refuse to wear masks will be offered a face shield. If they refuse that, they'll be given health screenings, and if they pass, they'll be allowed inside without a mask. We've started a list of which grocery stores in Texas will require masks and which won't. It's all on our website, kxan.com.